When telling stories about the kitsune from Japanese mythology, we often picture these magical creatures appearing as immortal and sometimes incredibly adorable with such grace that resembles that of a divine being. However, it's believed that these legendary foxes have been delighting Japanese people for centuries, whether by celebrating a wedding with foxfire lanterns or by making a jerk run naked through the streets of a village while giving all his money away. According to the yokai folklore, all foxes have the ability to shapeshift into human form. And while some folktales speak of kitsune using this ability to trick people as common foxes do in legends, other stories portray them as faithful guardians, worthy friends, and even lovers. But despite the way they might have been perceived by civilization, meeting a kitsune was not always fun nor pleasant because they were also incredibly cunning, mischievous, and incredibly dangerous. In ancient Japan foxes and humans were known to live close together, a companionship which gave rise to legends about the creatures that have become closely associated with the Shinto Kami Inari, which reinforced the fox's supernatural significance among the people. Originally the Kitsune were Inari's messengers, but the line between the two has been blurred to the point that Inari Okami may be depicted as a fox herself. And now because of their potential power and influence, some people make sacrifices to them as they would to a divinity. This fox worshipping gave rise to a speculation among folklorists as to whether or not another god with the traits of a fox existed in the past, because these animals have long been worshipped as kami themselves. Many speculations have gone around as to know what the origins of the kitsune might have probably been. But like many aspects of Japanese culture, the charming kitsune were inspired by Chinese who told tales of a magical nine-tailed fox called Huli Jing. And these fox spirits were adopted to Japanese culture through merchants as Kyubi no Kitsune. Many claim that the idea of the fox as a seductress and the connection of its myth to Buddhism were introduced into Japanese folklore through similar Chinese stories, but some of these stories in regard of the legendary creature contain elements unique to Japan. The kitsune is a type of yokai believed to possess superior intelligence and paranormal abilities that increase as they get older and wiser. Some scholars say that the word kitsune means come and sleep or come always, but for others it is simply translated as fox spirit, which is actually a broader folkloric category and does not mean that the kitsune were ghosts, nor that they were fundamentally different from regular foxes. Because the word spirit is used to reflect a state of knowledge or awareness, foxes that live longer were believed to gain supernatural abilities. It is said that newborn kitsune could easily blend in with a litter of average foxes and are believed to gain their looks along with their magical powers as time goes on, so the more they age, the more tails they get and the more powerful they subsequently become. According to Japanese folklore, after every hundred years, a kitsune is believed to grow a new tail and can have up to nine tails altogether, thereby becoming the nine-tailed fox kyubi or kyubi no kitsune. These nine-tailed foxes gain the abilities to see and hear anything happening anywhere in the world, while other accounts credit them with infinite wisdom and omniscience. Some tales suggest that it takes a 1000 years of age to acquire the ultimate nine tail, at which point a kitsune becomes a tenko or a celestial fox recognizable by its white or golden fur, which is its most powerful form after which the creature would ascend to join its kindred in heaven. When a kitsune reaches 100th year of age they can start shape-shifting, a trick that makes them highly difficult to describe. Although these magical foxes love to take human forms, they tend to go for shapes that command maximum respect which are not limited by their own gender or age, such as beautiful young women or a wise old priest but if they're in a troublemaking mood, they can also pose as humans they've seen before, especially those who might have wronged them. The kitsune's targets are usually men, from an overly proud samurai, a greedy merchant, boastful commoners to tradesmen and guileless farmers. Luckily enough the disguise of a kitsune is rarely perfect, simply because they have difficulty hiding their tails when they take a human form, so catching a glimpse of their bottle brush tail when the fox gets careless is a common method of discerning their true nature. 
They can also be exposed by their fear and hatred of dogs, becoming so rattled by their presence that they revert to the form of a fox and then flee. Therefore, no matter what shape they might take, there will always be something that would give them away. Some of the oldest kitsune can take on other shapes and show even greater powers as they are able to bend space and time, they can take fantastic forms such as incredibly tall trees and can disappear at twilight to appear as a second moon in the sky. Other kitsune have characteristics reminiscent of vampires and succubi, and thus feed on the life or spirit of human beings generally through sexual contact. For such incredible magical creatures, shapeshifting is just the first among many skills in possession of a kitsune along their specialization in the art of illusion. They can transform the world around them as to be almost indistinguishable from reality, such as making decadent mansions and dreamy gardens out of a graveyard. They can conjure up masses of gold which turns back into grass the following morning. Kitsune also have psychic powers which allow them to take possession of human bodies, usually to humiliate them by making the individual run naked through the town, give all his money away or eat huge amounts of food until the person becomes fat. As a less drastic measure, a kitsune might enter a human's mind while the latter is sleeping to deliver a message through a certain dream. Based in some accounts, a kitsune must keep his Hoshino Tama with him at all times, which is a glowing ball containing his soul and without it the creature would grow powerless and might eventually die. In human form, a kitsune usually wear their Hoshino Tama as amulets, but in their natural aspect they carry the magical ball in their muzzle or fasten them to their tails. There are not kitsune that are exactly alike, all of them are complex individuals with high intelligence and boundless creativity that make them hard to predict but can be broadly split into two main categories. Often depicted with a white fur, the Zenko are the benevolent and celestial foxes associated with Inari, and as such, they are capable of warding off evil and serve as guardian spirits which appear as priests to bring wisdom to humans or become guardians of specific households that would bring wealth and happiness. In addition of protecting Inari shrines, the Zenko were usually requested to intervene on behalf of the locals when settling disputes between them and the bad foxes. The Yako on the other hand are more malicious, mischievous, and can be downright destructive. They ruin reputations, steal valuables, and even lure travelers into deadly traps from which nobody can escape. Most of the time, the Yako target arrogant or lazy people but they have been known to harass innocents as well. But interesting enough, alongside the Zenko, the Yako are commonly portrayed as lovers in romantic stories. In the guise of beautiful young women, they frequently intermarry with humans proving to be affectionate and loyal wives, even though the marriage usually ends with the kitsune being chased away after her identity has been revealed. Some of these rejected wives die of broken hearts, sacrifice themselves to protect their human families or secretly help guiding the fortunes of their descendants, while others go on to cause destruction somewhere else. Many stories tell of kitsune bearing offspring from a human husband and when such progeny come up as human, they would have special physical or supernatural qualities that are often passed on to their own children. But when two kitsune marry one another, they host elaborate wedding celebrations which include conjuring up magical foxfire or calling rain down from a blue sky, and the phenomenon is called kitsune no yomeri or the kitsune's wedding, in reference to a folktale describing a wedding ceremony between the creatures being held during such conditions. Although the event is considered as a good omen, the kitsune will nevertheless seek revenge on any uninvited guests. One of the oldest and most popular kitsune stories is the saga of Lady Tamamo set in the 12th century, a period of great civic and political discord in Japanese history. It was said that a mysterious and flawlessly beautiful woman of uncertain pedigree once managed to infiltrate the imperial court and the heart of the Emperor Toba. During a raging storm on a certain night in which all lamps were blown out, Lady Tamamo began to radiate with light like a shining star. Meanwhile the Emperor soon sickened and grew gravely ill while breeding suspicion among the courtiers that a malevolent spirit lurks among them, bending on nothing less than the destruction of the dynasty. 
All fingers pointed to the emperor's mysterious favorite but Toba refused to believe them. A purification ceremony performed by a local exorcist eventually forced Lady Tamamo to reveal her true identity, a nine-tailed fox that quickly fled to the northeast, which back then was the traditional go-to destination for all supernatural beings. The fleeing fox was subsequently pursued by bow-toting warriors on horseback and eventually killed. The Kitsune first debuted in Japanese literature around the 8th century and their legend has never faded ever since. Special tofu recipes were invented as offerings for the foxes now found around the ancient temples of Inari, they can also be found on calligraphy scrolls by Japan's finest artists and of course in thousands of folktales. Some families kept foxes as pets believing they would bring them wealth and success. Meanwhile other families that were believed to be descendants from the Yako foxes were ostracized by their communities. Though shifty is the word that comes to mind when referring to this legendary creature, the kitsune are adept of shape-shifting from male to female and from animal to human and this so forth. The kitsune is a master of illusion, a wild card and a challenger of accepted notions. They are alternately cunning and playful, malevolent and mysterious, untrustworthy, and yet loyal. On occasion they provide comic interludes while breaking up the seriousness of the life which tends to resonate with karmic retributions. If you've enjoyed this video, leave it a like, drop me a comment and do consider subscribing for more. And as always, stay curious.